What is the cost of living of Cincinnati, Ohio versus New York City? That's what we're gonna look at in this video. So hey guys, my name is Eric Stanio with Keller Williams Realty and TeamStanio.com, where we are helping families find their way home. And uh, I'm a Cincinnati and Northern Kentucky real estate agent licensed in both Kentucky and Ohio. And what I wanted to do was a series of videos um, you know, looking at the cost of living of Cincinnati versus some of these major cities, um, specifically uh, because if you're like me, I'm working in my attic right now because we're on lockdown and uh, the cities in the states are starting to ease up. We're starting to, um, you know, these these shelter in place orders are going to end, but a lot of things might change coming out of this, coming out of COVID-19 and coronavirus and our new normal going forward. And one of those things is that you know, while a lot of jobs, a lot of people have been moving to major cities, big cities, because you got to get that job, what we're finding is teleworking is a thing. And a lot of people can work from home and it's not that much difference and your productivity can even go up if you learn how to do it the right way. Um, and so what does that do? That changes the landscape. You might be able to move to any city you want and you might be looking at, and probably while you're watching this video, is some other lower cost cities that have a lot of big city, city amenities, but the cost of living is significantly lower. So in this video, that's what we're looking at, is what is the cost of living directly of Cincinnati, Ohio versus New York, and how much money can you actually save? So let's go to this website right here. This is There's a lot of different calculators online. I like this one. It's Ready Cincinnati. It's kind of a Cincinnati regional website. And what you're want, gonna wanna do, there's lots of great information about living here in Cincinnati and, and why this is a great place to live. We've done a whole other video on that. If you wanna see that, we'll link to it uh, above in this video. But what we're gonna do is go to this cost of living page right here. And um, you can live better for less in greater Cincinnati. Uh, you, you can see the medium home prices compared to some other major cities, San Jose, San Francisco, New York. Uh, this graphic kind of cracks me up, the square footage uh, of what you can get for 1500 a month in New York uh, versus Cincinnati. So you can you live in this little space here in New York for 1500 bucks versus Cincinnati. And I get it. Look, guys, I know the cities are different. I know New York is the greatest city in the world. I, I get all that. There's, there's opportunity there. If you can make it there, you can make it anywhere. I, I get all that. Um, but we're looking at some different options here in Cincinnati, right? And so um, scroll down. Here's some things why it's great to live here. Hey, we just drafted Joe Burrow. I mean, let's go. Um, but this is what I want to look at. The current base salary, if you were moving from, and there's actually, uh, there's Queens and there's Man Manhattan here. So let's go to New York and let's go, let's, let's pick Queens at first. And you're moving to Cincinnati. And let's say you were making $50,000 a year as a base salary in Queens. What does that translate to, to in Cincinnati? Well, what we're looking at is that if you're earning 50,000 after-tax dollars in Queens, the comparable after-tax income in Cincinnati is $31,577. So right off the bat there, if you're only making 50 grand, you're saving 18, 19,000 dollars to move to Cincinnati, Ohio. That's nuts right there. And where are you saving money? Well, groceries are 24% less. Housing uh, is the big one, right? Housing is 66% less in Cincinnati. Utilities, 26% less. And you can scroll down here. There's a, there's a bunch of information you can look at in terms of different indexes and line by line. Um, but let's, let's take this up the next level. Let's say you're doing a little bit better. Instead of 50, uh, you're making 100 grand and you're working at a marketing firm or an HR or whatever. Some kind of job where you can work, you can telework. Um, and let's say you're making 100,000, that translates to the, the comparable after-tax income of 63,000. You can essentially put $37,000 in your pocket every single year by the cost of living difference from New York City to Cincinnati, Ohio. Okay, that's starting to get a little crazy. Um, what are you gonna do with that money? What do you wanna do with 37,000 extra dollars a year? You wanna travel more? Do you wanna invest? Do you wanna give more to charity? I mean, what do you want to do with that? You can do a lot, right? Let's say you're making $200,000 a year. The after tax in Cincinnati is $126,000. You guys can play with this calculator. These numbers are starting to get a little high and a little crazy. But I want to show you one more thing. Let's say you're living in Manhattan uh, and we'll, we'll run that same number at $200,000. The comparable after tax income is $78,000. I mean, what is that? Like 
40% the cost. I mean, uh, that's nuts. You can be saving $122,000 a year simply if you have that job and you, and you can work, or even if you find another job here locally, right? Um, the cost of living is such an extreme difference here in Cincinnati versus New York City. It's starting to make a lot of sense. It's starting to make a lot of sense. The groceries are 30% less. The utilities are 27% less. Transportation is 18% less. Housing is 84% less than in Manhattan. And I, and again, you're losing some things when you leave out of New, move out of New York City. I get it, but you're also you're gaining 122,000 different reasons I can think of a move into Cincinnati. Okay, so guys, if you are seriously considering this, would love to help you out. Um, like I said, I'm a real estate agent here. I can help you think through the different neighborhoods that are here, the different school districts, or whatever lifestyle you're wanting to live. There's different pockets and neighborhoods here, just like any other city. There's major amenities here in Cincinnati that are that are fantastic. Great art scene, great music scene, great food scene, and you've got professional sports in three professional, you know, soccer, baseball, and the Bengals who day. Um, <laughs> You, you might may or may not want to become a tortured Bengals fan. Um, but yeah, give us a call up. I would love to be your real estate agent. If you're seriously thinking of moving here, whether that's Cincinnati or Northern Kentucky, like I said, I'm, I'm licensed in both. Um, if this video was helpful for you guys, thank you for watching. Please give us a like. Please comment below. Tell us what you're thinking. I would love to hear. Uh, please subscribe to the channel. And and if, you, if you're looking to move here, give me a call up. 513-813-6293. We'd love to help you find the perfect home here in Cincinnati, Ohio. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you later.